everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. We're here in the Miasma Woods about to tackle the side quest, but real quick, um, I did a bit of grinding in between this episode and last episode, just like I said. I got everyone to level 20. They were 15 or 16 before, so not a crazy amount of levels, but for this portion of the game, we are now technically over leveled. <clears throat> you can see everyone's around 800 HP, and everyone's job level is six so now we're able to do probably a couple of ability swaps here okay let's go ahead and see what we can add on to people looks like we've got gain one bp upon evading enemy attack and what is this gain one bp upon suffering a status ailment okay okay that's the only thing we can put on him what about a dia here anything new okay that's it for her <clears throat> what about nothing Okay, and then what about here? Counters enemy attacks from... Uh, okay, that's something we can put on there. Better than nothing. Okay, so honestly, not as much as I thought. I thought it would be like a whole bunch of abilities we can put on. Um, but apparently not. I made sure to use the cottage before we left. Oh, and I guess side side thing from grinding. I also got a little bit of peak, so ten thousand. That should should be able to buy us um maybe at least the spells that we need. Hopefully. Yes, so close. Oh, we're so close. We were so close. Why must you always interfere, Idia? Oh, put a sock in it. I'm not interfering with nothing. I have a letter for Go from his master. I came to deliver it. That's all. A letter? From Mr. Kami Izumi? He sent you off to me? That's right. Seems he's worried about you. Anyway, here it is. Uh, thank you. My dear student, when you stopped coming by for our daily dialogues on swordsmanship, I worried what had become of you. I imagine that your situation now is difficult, but you must find a way to endure and overcome your difficulties. A young man who shirks from his first true challenge will never gain the confidence needed to succeed in this world. Though still constrained to this sickbed, I have been able to make certain inquiries. I understand that you are working for the Power Betterment Office, and that your duties are physically hard and demanding. Perhaps you've begun to question yourself and curse your position. But remember, this is proof of your employer's expectations. Only the most promising recruits are given such work that they might be instilled with strength and fortitude. I have heard from reliable sources that your supervisor has high hopes for you. Think of your fencing drills. Often they were hard and tedious, but by sticking to them, you gain strength and skill. You learned fencing from my tome and pursued the magical arts at Alcampus. I do not know what lies in store for you or what you might one day achieve. I can say only this. Now is the time to be strong. Gird your loins and plant your standard in the ground. Gird your loins. You are go-getter. Grit your teeth. Never waver. And you will overcome the trials before you. Oh... Mr. Kami Izumi, it's too late. I... I ran away. Like a coward. Miss Idia, tell me, whatever should I do? Look, I don't care what the reasons are. A workplace that treats promising young minds like that is no place for anyone. Remember the mindless toil day after day. <gasps> How long do you intend to keep that up? You have a dream. A dream to summon the legendary Amaterasu. Your name and mine will be writ large on the pages of history for all eternity. Yes! 
Go, what do you want to do? Honestly, I... I don't know. Of course, I want to stay here and continue my research. But at the same time, I accepted that job, and I've been taught to see things through. Taught by Mr. Kami Izumi himself, that is. He stressed the point many times in his book. Hmm. It's a tough call, all right. What to do? What to do? Hmm. I think he should go back. Master Kami Izumi is right. Go, you have to return to your job in Anshine. And the first thing you do when you get back is apologize to your supervisor, okay? That's what's proper for anyone who follows the way of the sword. I... I suppose you're right. You can't be serious! Did spinning those cogs turn your mind and your spine to butter? Don't let swords for brains here tell you what to do! Go back to work. Stick it out as best you can. If the job truly isn't right for you, then you can quit. But you still don't know what you could have accomplished there. You didn't give it enough time. So just go back and give it the old Al Campus try, yeah? You betcha! You're going to let those paper pushers put you back in your pen like a little piggy. Is that it? <laughs> No, I shall not allow it. <laughs> Idia, if you want to take Go back to Anshine, it'll be over my dead body. So, is he really worth that much to you? Enough for a knockdown, drag out fight that leaves one of us face down in the mud? Okay, I'm not gonna like this. But I want the Swordmaster Asterisk, so I don't want to fight her. So. Good girl. Your swords for brains aren't completely dull. Honestly, I. But at the same time, I ex. taught by Mr. Co Miss Idiot. Hmm. I think. I mean, okay. I don't know, I just want the Swordmaster Asterisk, man. You should stay right here, Go. You have too much potential to be just another cog in that machine. Which I kind of agree with. Miss Idia! Are you sure about this, Idia? What about your master? To heck with him! Forcing yourself to slave away at a job you hate doesn't help anybody. I'll let your supervisor know. And master, too. Do your darndest here from Ophelia and summon this Amaterasu. Got it? Huh? <gasps> Idia, is something the matter? No, it's just... You ignorant fool! Ah! Master! Master Nobutsuna Kamizumi, holder of the Swordmaster Asterisk, leader of the Black Blades of Eternia, and the greatest swordsman in the duchy. He instructed Idia in the way of the sword. His disciples are found across the realm, drawn to him by his surpassing skill with the blade and the quiet honor within his heart. By what strange trick of fate do you... I heard the exchange, or enough of it at least. Then you heard my reasoning. Surely you understand, Master? I am disappointed in you, Idia. Your advice is naive and shameful. Master? Being but a cog in a machine does not mean one's efforts are devoid of value. You counsel a guileless youth, still ignorant of the world, to throw up his hands at the first hint of hardship. Recklessly, you urge him to question his role, before he can learn for himself which role suits him best. What lesson have you taught the boy that will help him overcome the next challenge that he faces? Make no mistake, by encouraging him to give in to his weakness, you will bear the responsibility for making Go less of a man. As master to my pupils, I too bear responsibility, and I will not shirk my duty. 
If you persist in your shameful counsel, you leave me no choice but to draw my sword. Didn't he just help us a minute ago? Okay, so honestly, I'm actually pretty okay with uh, fighting him here because first, um, he's saying, well, he's gonna give up on the very first challenge. Summoning this is a challenge, and he's gonna do it. Therefore, he's not giving up on challenges, he's just giving up on the challenge that he doesn't like. He's still going for a challenge, but if you're gonna challenge yourself, you might as well go for something you like, you know. Neither of them are easy, you might as well just go for one that you want. Why would you want to go for some, you know. So, screw it, I'm fighting him. Yes, fight, yes, I'm gonna fight him. I agree with a lot of the things that he says, would seem but still not all of them. Much to learn. The lesson begins, Idia. Draw your blade! Yeah, so I agree with a couple of the things, like the whole not being lazy, but that's about it. Swordmaster Kamiizumi stands before you. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's do this. Uh, attack all. Yes, let's do that. And then along with that, let's go ahead and use. I don't know what's good against these guys. Uh, fire, fire, fire. fire. Yeah, so use. Hmm. Okay, let's with Tiz. Let's use a Lux. And with Magnolia, let's use. Let's do this on Kamizumi and all right. Let's go ahead and um, do the Sonic Wave here. Four hundred. Okay, is he gonna counter me? Okay, because he has a nothing ventured up. I forgot what that does, and I don't think he's gonna hit me with anything. So I think we're good here. Ooh, that kind of looks sick, actually. Though. Ooh, that was a lot of damage too. Okay, 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 you. I see you, I see you, I see you. We've Lux. Begun to okay. fight. This will give us a good bit of speed. Okay, let's fix the sound a little bit. Moon Shadow. Yeah, okay, this fight's not. This fight's gonna be pretty easy, but again, we are a little over level. Just remember, I leveled up right before this fight, so. Let's go ahead and default. Default and default. Nothing ventured. That's fine. We're just gonna default again. Okay. Default again. Ouch. Default and then let's use retrieve weapon. Oh. Okay. Let's just toss that weapon. Trample, trample, and trample. Let's use heat. And then with Magnolia, let's go ahead and just use just normal attacks. Why not? That'll do. And I think Magnolia is going to be ending up the one that I actually change into the Swordmaster, I think. But we'll see. I'll make that decision after I can give it a good thought. Okay. Some good damage right there. Okay. Ooh, he hit a couple, good couple times there. Fire, fire, fire. Use a couple tramples here. Let's go ahead and use a heal. Let's default with Magnolia here. Is he gonna counter? Ooh. Cool. Okay, you love to see it. Oh, and we got a few items there too. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, we got the sword bearer asterisk. I, this run around, I might actually use it this time, so I'm actually kind of excited. He uses katanas, right? Uh, to unleash powerful counterattacks, and he uses katanas. Alright, I'll have to decide who I want to put as that, but that class can be super interesting, I, so. I have failed my pupils and my blade. Master! Please forgive me. I never meant to start a fight between you and your master. Don't worry. It's not the first time. He'll come around. Thank you, Idia. It's not like I did it for you, you know. Just take this research seriously. Summon this Amaterasu. And use it to make the world a better place. I agree. Oh, we will. Okay, that sounded like you 
definitely were not going to. Uh, oh, still no good. Just a bit more. You were so close. Oh. Oh, Miss Idia. Working hard as always, I see. Yes, <laughs> but not much to show for it. You look like you're getting closer, though. Yes, I've finally been able to apply all that I studied at Alcampis. I'm practically worried it's too good to be true. That's a good worry to have, if you ask me. I'm glad I didn't make a big mistake letting you stay against Master's wishes. I must thank you again, Idia. Hamaterasu will be ours any day now. Finally, I can fulfill my promise to my own master. Your master? You mean Sage Yuliana? Now that you mention it, we haven't seen him once since all that went down. How is the old lech? Yes, well, I imagine he's as lecherous as ever. Hmm? You haven't seen him either? About a year ago, he fought a tremendous battle with the ball that fell to Luxendark. <gasps> he intimated to me the existence of Amaterasu and one other summoning spell, and then went off somewhere as is his wont. Where to? I would assume... The sky? No, think higher. Space? You don't mean heaven? No, space. The moon, maybe. <laughs> what do you think? Miss Mephelia, what if we were to try introducing harmonics to the time-space chant? Not a bad idea. Let's give it a try. See you around, Idia. Yeah, see you around. And you, and you, and you. <laughs> Chill, huh? bruh. Does she like you or something? Chill, bruh. Okay, then let us use a teleport stone and get out of here. Zippity zoop zap. We're getting out of here. Okay, now we can go to our main mission here. But I need to figure out which job I want. Do I want the charioteer or the fencer? So let me figure this out. Okay, so this is going to seem a bit weird. But honestly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make both Magnolia and Adia. I'm going to make them both Swords Masters because I'm going to just be 100% real. I just looked at both of their jobs. And honestly, neither of them actually excite me. So real quickly, now that we have the money, let's go in here and this would probably be our best source of stuff for now. Um, we need to buy four katanas, so this is going to be very expensive. Yeah, this is going to be very expensive. I need four of those. Okay, so let's come here. Uh, oh, wait, is this katana better though? This katana is better. Optimize can work sometimes, but sometimes it's just like, no, why Why would I do that? Um, I think, is it either of these shields better? No. Really what was important was just equipping those katanas. And now we can come over here, we can buy all of these basically. Ooh, almost all of them. Okay, I need a little bit more. Okay, so let's buy the Blazara. Vivify. Well, I can buy both of these, so you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and buy both of those. At least now we have all of those learned, and I'm probably not going to even get the Time Mage. How much money do I have? Okay, 300 peak. I think that's enough for me to at least um, <laughs> go to the inn here. I guess, would any of these be any better? I think Warfare might be better. Oh, yeah, let's do that. And then for here, but let's go down to where we were actually supposed to go. That is the water temple right there. We go through these woods. Okay, real quick, let's go ahead and make sure to give it a save here. Before anything crazy happens. What's in these woods?
When did we come here again? I completely forgot. Oh, to find the compass. The sea caves of Harina. The compass is somewhere within these tunnels. Look, over there! Do I see cats? They can't all belong to that Manette girl. Or can they? Probably. I bet they're hunting for the compass too. They mean to turn it over to the Kaiser. We have to find it before they do. Right. We made a promise to the professor, and I mean to keep it. Indeed. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, and also, while we're here, we got to turn our counter rate back up here. Okay. I'm guessing if we click these gems, things will move around the map. This is just like um one of the temples in the last game. But instead of platforms, there was doors. Okay, I wonder how I get up there. Okay, so this takes us up on the second level. What does this do? Okay, that allows us to get to that chest. So I want to go to that chest first. So that was actually kind of a good thing we did that. Enemy gets first strike. Why? Okay, and let's go ahead and set that on repeat there. Well, it's not Thunder. It's not Blizzard either. Is it either of them? Guess not. Either way, we're not doing too bad in this fight, so. Okay. Not too terrible of a fight. Let's go ahead and grab this. White cape. And it looks like the levels for this are 17 through 21. Don't tell me this is the way out. Oh, okay, it's not the way out. High potion. This guy's just another summoner, right? Yeah, so... Oh, what the heck did we just get? Was that... Oh, we just got one of these things. Well, we just bought four of them, dude. Okay, so he is one of the summoner people. But sadly, I chose the sword bear asterisk instead of the summoner. So, that was almost useless to us. Or, now summoning is going to become useless to us, so... It is what it is. A new challenger. Okay, let's fight this new challenger. I didn't even click to fight it, but I guess it was just like, you know what? You are fighting this whether you like it or not. Okay, I'm gonna call quits there. Yeah, because I'm already a level 20, so it's not even crazy necessary for me to get those fights. I'm gonna go over here. Bang, bang. Let's go ahead and grab this. Arctic Wind, okay, okay, okay. Another fight. But guys, I think I'm going to end today's episode off right here. So guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.